to prime my lids as always i'm taking the jane cosmetics eyeshadow base i really love this primer because it's super duper affordable and it feels just like either the Too faced or the urban decay primer potion it is such a good primer dupe now we're going to go into the chocolate bonbons palette and i'm taking the divinity shade with my e50 large fluffy shadow brush and i'm just going to start pressing this all underneath my brow bone for another base, I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics French Fries Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil. You can see it's like a nice toasty brown. And I'm going to place this all over the lid. I thought the next shadow we're about to use was a little bit lighter and would match this. It's a little bit darker, but that's okay. Then with the E54 Sweeper Brush, I'm going to take the shade Dark Truffle and pack that right on top. And this gives it a really metallic, high shine, chocolatey brown eye. It is like so gorgeous, you guys. It looked like oil slick in person. Like, I don't even know how to describe it to you. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Malted, which is just a matte chocolate brown. And I'm going to use that to blend out any of the harsher edge here. Sorry if you can hear a lot of rambling. It's my cats like running around ruining my apartment in the morning. <laughs> it's a ritual for them, you know. And then also following up with Mocha to blend that out even more and give us more of a seamless transition. I'm just running that over the top. I believe this was a Morphe um, blending brush, but there was no number or name on it. So I really don't know. And I'm going to take my favorite lash curler in the world. This is the Lancome Cosmetics Lash Curler. It's the best, by the way. And just curl my lashes because I don't think I'm going to do false lashes today. And then for liner, I'm going to follow up with the ColourPop Cosmetics Swerve Gel Liner. I've been getting into this in like a huge way. At first, I wasn't crazy about it, but the more that I work with it, I really like it. I prefer to do like a thicker but shorter wing. I thought it looked really nice with all the dark shadow, but you can do what you want. You could even do no um, eyeliner for this look. It's totally up to you guys. And then I'm going to take the NYX Cosmetics Glistening Emerald Glam Shadow Stick. These things are awesome. This is like a gorgeous emerald green but it's super, super shiny and metallic. So I'm taking that on my waterline. And then just blending that out with another shadow brush. Next, we wanna take the Earl Grey eyeshadow. So many of you guys wanted me to use this right away, so I had to incorporate it into this tutorial for sure, and it is so gorgeous. I'm so glad I used it on my lower lid because it just looked amazing, you guys. You have no idea. It just brightens your eyes, and especially brown eyes. All my brown eye girlfriends, you will love it. And then following up with the It Cosmetics Tightline Mascara, I'm gonna kinda of prime with that, and then go ahead and layer on the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Mine is so dried up though, so my lashes look really clumpy, so please forgive me. And then for foundation, I want to take the Tarte Cosmetics Amazonian Clay Foundation with the 3D HD Kabuki Brush from Sigma Beauty. I've gotten back into this too, by the way. Well, I washed it, so now I'm using it. <laughs> That's pretty much how things work for me. If I wash them, it's what I'm going to use now. But I love this coverage. It's so matte, and I just think the tone of it is so perfect. It's just a fabulous foundation. And then we're going to... And then for concealer, I'm going to take the Maybelline Cosmetics Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair and just work this underneath my eyes. And I take it right up along my wing so I get a really sharp line there. And then highlighting the rest of my face. Now I'm just going to blend it in with my Beauty Blender. It was dry because I was too lazy to go wet it. And then I'm going to take my Airspun Translucent Powder and just set that on top of all my highlight points so that my concealer will bake and be really illuminated and bright. And while I'm waiting for that, I like to take my Smashbox Photo Filter Powder and set all the surrounding areas because I really just don't like those chilling without powder on it. I'm worried it's going to get creasy and cakey, so I just like to kind of zap it. And then while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and sweep away all the translucent powder. And now we need to do a light contouring, so I'm going to take the Sombre Powder from the Kat Von D Contour Palette. Did I already say that? It's really early. I don't remember. <laughs> and I'm just going to do some light contouring on my cheeks. 
And of course, can't forget the forehead, especially because this look was so dark and um, I just really thought my face needed a lot more color. So I did add a little bit more bronzer today. And then for blush, I'm taking the Makeup Geek Smitten Blush. And I really like this, but I have to say, unless you're as fair as the Driven Snow like me, it's not going to show up. So I was a little disappointed in Makeup Geek Black Friday bundle because of that reason. I just know there are a lot of ladies who probably would have liked to have had a bundle and couldn't because it just doesn't fit their complexion. Next for the lips, I'm going to take the ColourPop Dark. Dr. M liquid lipstick. It's arguably probably my favorite liquid lipstick. I love it so much. And then lastly, we're taking the Benefit Cosmetics Bling Brow Set. I don't know if you guys remember this from like last October, two Octobers ago, um, but the, there are these little Swarovski crystals that Benefit came out with that have sticky things on them. And they're supposed to go on your brow, but I'm just using them on my inner, just to give it a little added effect. And that is it for this tutorial, you guys. I really hope you all loved it. Thank you so much for watching Seamus. Tomorrow's actually my birthday, so let me know if you'd like to see a birthday vlog or something. I love you guys. Take care.